Hi, this is a quick video detailing three more aspects of union psychology that I would like to talk about. It's, they are the collective unconscious, the ego, and the unconscious mind. The unconscious mind was discovered by Sigmund Freud. Basically, humans think on two levels. We have our conscious mind. That is the train of thought that we actually have in our head when we make decisions that we are aware of. Basically, it is our awareness of ourself and our desires. Then there's our unconscious mind. Our unconscious mind is the part of our mind that isn't our conscious thought, but it's always thinking. It, conta it, is, it contains what Jung called archetypes, and it, is, it influences our decisions because it contains another set of goals, desires, and things that we want to do and accomplish as people, instincts, that aren't consciously thought, but that are unconsciously, they, the unconscious mind influences our conscious mind and our decision making process to always achieve certain results. For example, when you're hungry, you want to eat. Why? The unconscious mind is registering the signals that your body is receiving, the brain is receiving, and is saying, well, you've got to eat because I'm receiving hunger signals. That's how the unconscious mind affects us, at a very primitive level. On a more complex level that Jung went into this, uh, researching is archetypes and how we have primordial images of types of people that are stored in the, our own unconscious and that we define ourselves by and that influence how we see the world. Jung then went on to theorize about what he called the collective unconscious which is a form of unconscious mind that influences how society makes decisions as the unconscious mind influences the conscious mind how it makes decisions and it contains a massive amount of collectively stored memory of archetypes, images, mythology and types of people that are passed on from generation to generation and are shared by all people and influence how everybody sees the world in the same manner. The ego is what was Jung's term for the conscious mind. That's all it is. But these three things had a major impact on fifth business because the unconscious mind is where the archetypes of all the characters were stored. So, and since all the characters epitomized archetypes, their unconscious mind had a profound effect on the characters in the course of the story. The collective unconscious referred to the myths that influenced the characters' lives and how they saw the world. So it had a major impact on the story, and of course the ego is how they officially thought and consciously saw the world. However, their ego in the story was never able to veto a decision made by the unconscious mind, which was able to control the characters, as at the end of Fifth Business, when Dunny's unconscious mind basically controlled him to reveal the truth about the snowball incident. These are three major concepts of union psychology that also must be understood to properly get the full message of this amazing story.